Our message is about confidence. Confidence in God. Where is it that we place our confidence? Some people place their confidence in their career, in knowledge, in religion, perhaps in talent or insurance, in their bank account. What is it that you rely on, that you trust in? Maybe it's the media, politicians, used car salesmen. Psalm 118 verse 8, it says this, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. I want to urge you to place your confidence in someone you can trust, God. You can trust his person, his integrity, who he is, the Saviour. You can trust his promises, 2 Peter 1 verse 4. You can trust his power, his awesome power. He's the creator of the universe. You can trust his plan, his will. Let him have his way with you. Why can you trust him? Number one, because God is wiser than you. Right is right, even if everyone is against it. And wrong is wrong, even if everyone is for it. Go with what is right. There's an infallible guide to life as to what is right, God's word. We live in a world of insecurity, of infidelity, a world where nothing lasts and everything changes. What can you be sure of? You can be sure of God's love. Hope can arise out of despair. You can trust in God because God is bigger than you. We can have unshakable confidence in God's ability. It says in Proverbs 3 verse 26, For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Humble yourself. Place your complete confidence in God. You can trust in his name, his authority, he is the king, his ability to save, to care for you. God's working in us. Philippians 1 verse 6, it says, Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. There is someone bigger than you, looking after you, and you can have the confidence of a child in its father, a servant in its master, a soldier in its commander, a pet in its owner, yet much, much more confidence in God. Hebrews 4 verse 16, it says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. This is a man you can trust, a shepherd, a saviour, a master. This is a message you can trust, a seed, clear instructions. His word is sure. We have a blessed assurance. You can trust in God because God is stronger than you. When you are weak, he is strong. Trust in him. Rest in him. We can enjoy a wonderful confidence in prayer, in that rest, that contentment, that security, that satisfaction that he brings. There's great power in prayer. Sadly, it's an untapped power at times, oft times. Ephesians 3 verse 12, it says, In whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. There's a wonderful supply, a source we can tap into the power of prayer. 1 John 5, 14 through 15, it says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Proverbs 14, 26, it says, In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Be strong in the Lord. Take God-given opportunities to share your faith in Christ. What is it that you trust in? What you have confidence in? What drives you? What motivates you? What are you afraid of? Where is your confidence is the question. And what is stopping you having confidence in God? 
a man was diagnosed with cancer and was told that he had only a few months to live. Soon after that, a burglar was trapped in a nearby store and the man volunteered to go in and apprehend the criminal. He reasoned that if he died in the process, he would become a hero rather than experience an uneventful death. The burglar was so overwhelmed by this man's boldness that he surrendered. The man volunteered for other acts of bravery and astonished everyone, but then the doctors informed him that they had misdiagnosed his case. He did not have cancer and would live. His fear returned and his courage and power were lost. There's nothing more dangerous on this planet than people that are not afraid of dying. Someone has said, let us have God confidence. God confidence. Let us be a people who are not afraid of men. Let us be a people who are motivated to please God. How can we develop this God confidence? Place your whole confidence in God. The foundation of our faith is that a soul can trust in Christ. There is a name you can trust. Acts 4 verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You can have confidence in that name, the name above every name, the name, the only name that saves, the name of Jesus.